This video goes along with chapter 4 of this book and in this chapter I'm going to show the stress in the X direction then rotate the part and see how we can still get normal stress in a, a rotated part. So I'm going to switch over to SolidWorks. I've got a, a part set up here and I'm going to create a new simulation study. And then I'll uh, create a fixture on this side. And then a normal stress here, a normal force I should say. On this surface in the reverse direction of a thousand Newton. Like that. And then I'm going to run this study. And after that I can have a look for example at the stress in the X direction. So define a new stress plot. It should be a stress in the X direction like that. And then I see here a value of roughly 1.88 which is just the thousand divided by the surface area and the surface area was in this case uh, 531 so 1000 divided by 531 is 1.88 uh, newton per square millimeter and you see that in the light blue value over here so it's uh, roughly over there so that uh, should be correct this stress concentration over here is discussed in chapter one of the book so you can have a look at uh, that chapter in the book or the video that goes along with the chapter now if I rotate the part so I'm gonna save it save the part and then go back to the model I'll create a new sketch for example on this plane I'll create a center line in this direction and another center line in the X direction I can then dimension it for a value of 30 for example and then I'm gonna rotate this part so I can uh, change this sketch but I can also change the the surface this sketch was originally sketched on so first I'm gonna roll this to the beginning if it's possible let me see like that yeah it's possible and then I'm gonna create a surface here plane with uh, now I should show the sketch again and uh, with let me see what happens uh, I need to be showing this uh, yeah, and view sketches like that. that's better so now I can choose these lines to create a, a surface so I'll choose this line and this point to create a surface the surface will be through this point and perpendicular to the line that I've chosen and now I'm gonna roll this back to here as well so I can change this boss extrude sketch I'll not edit the sketch but I'll edit the, the plane the sketch was originally sketched on which will rotate the whole part like that so now I've got uh, the, the part rotated I can switch back to the static study I can rerun it and now I will find that the stress in the X direction is not the same value uh, as I've just calculated it's become a little bluer and you can see it's now roughly 1.3 Newton per square millimeter so the stress in the X direction has changed because the whole part has changed so every time a part is orientated in a in a way that you don't want to see the stresses in you can use still the principal stresses so define a stress plot and then I'll choose here the first principal stress uh, the largest tensile stress in this part for more information I'll uh, make some videos on the von Mises circle which will clarify this even further but for now the, the first principal stress will be the largest tensile stress which will be the same 1.88 again as I see here so 1.88 again so now this stress plot shows exactly the same stress plot as the the x stress plot that I've created in the not or uh, reoriented part. So you never need to reorient a part just to see stresses in a certain direction. Now I can see with the first principal stress what the largest normal stress is in this part. So I don't need to create a new coordinate system for example. And what I'll explain later in the von Mises circle discussion 
is that now the, the the second principal stress should be zero because there's no stress working uh, perpendicular to this force over here. So I'll uh, define another stress plot with the second principal stress and it should roughly be equal to zero throughout the whole part and you see here a very small value I can still probe this plot as well over here so you see a very small value which is uh, in this case just a, a small rounding uh, difference and uh, the third principal stress should be zero as well just as when I haven't reoriented the part uh, the Y and the Z stress will be zero as well so that was the discussion on principal stress. Thanks for watching.